Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So, this is episode 6 of the Beginner's Guide 2023 series, and in this episode the plan is to learn the Riddle of Steel and get ourselves some steel tools and hopefully some steel weapons as well, the next level up from iron. But, in order to... Oh, oh, get off the horse. In order to get steel and make steel, you're going to need a lot of iron. So... I am going to do a little bit of an extended iron run. So you can see, just see where I am now. That's where the base is. Uh, let me see, get the GUI on my pointer. My base is just down there. You can see the sentinels there. There is the lake. So I'll show you on the map. There's the lake with the, the croc boss in it. But if we come up the hill here and we're going to head up that hill, there'll be lots of iron. But what I did do is the... In episode 2, I showed you the easy iron run, where we went round and we, we picked up all the iron nodes just in this little area here. So we've done that, and that got us 846 iron stone with our iron pick and a little bit of stone. I've chucked a lot of the stone away. Uh, I've got the shale back with us, because he's going to be carrying it for us. And we're going to head up this hill up here. If I point myself forward and show you in the map where we're going up this hill, up towards that location there, and through that gap. So let's just ride up here. A couple of antelope things going about, or gazelles, whatever they are. And then we get up here, and we're going to encounter some new creatures up here. There's a couple over there, and then there'll be some up here, and these are called rock nose. There's different variants of rock nose. Uh, there's stone ones, there's iron ones, there's coal ones, there's crystal ones. There we go, some iron nodes up here. So what I will do, because they, they're made of stone, they have really high armor. So I've borrowed Enika's iron mace, because it's got good armor penetration. So there's one round that corner there. Let's see if we can get these nodes before... Oh, there it is, look. And they're different, no, uh, no, I want the, ooh, fun. Right, get off the horse. So they don't have a huge amount of health, but they don't, they've got really high armor, so if you just if you use my daggers or whatnot, you can see that the shield back is only doing five damage to it. There we go. It's down. And you can actually mine these guys. And get so these are this is iron rock nose, so you get iron stone from them. If you mine a coal one, you'll get coal from it. So let's give you that. And let's get on with this. So all along this ridge along here is a whole bunch of coal nodes. And I, I think there's three, maybe four of these iron rock noses as well. So let's just get this one. Come on Come see me. There we go. So we can use the... Oh, we're stuck inside him. There we go. Get stuck inside something, jump is the usual way to get out. So you can see with the mace where the right-click attack puts Sunder on the rock nose, which reduces its armor even more. So as well as having armor penetration that can go through its armor, you can also sunder it to reduce its armor and do even more damage. Right, there you go. You carry that, because that's really heavy. There's some more iron. Alright, head along here, and even more iron along here. Now, there is a little camp up there. So, depending when the patrol comes... Oh, there's the, the third rock nose, so let's... You can get the patrol, just come to the edge there and they'll aggro on you and come down. Two stacks of sunder. Three. Four. Five. So, but they're, they're not that hard, the, the guys from up there. Get these iron. Couple more iron nodes here.
Right, you can see that big building in front of us. That is the summoning place. That's the sort of headquarters of uh, the main camp of the Yogg religion. So it's not that difficult, although especially early game, there are lots of people around it, so you can end up getting swamped. But if you look over here on the right hand, or the right hand side of the entrance, there are a bunch of coal nodes. So we can get a couple of these coal nodes without getting too close. There are a couple there we might we might pull. Uh, there's one more node here. Okay, and if we pop round this corner and follow this wall round here, you get a couple more. And you can see up there, these rock nose have got red eyes. So they are, I believe they are coal rock nose. If we were to kill one of them and harvest it, we would get coal from it. Okay, so you can see my iron pick is almost worn away. It's got 32 damage. So I did take some iron bars with me because it was iron bars we can repair it on the fly so it took 21 iron bars to fully repair it back up to maximum durability again there we go 250 okay right so now we need to run rover the other side of the the summoning place let's get on the horse one horse you can see the camp up there that we was talking about Alright, so we've got to ride, we've got to kind of keep a wide berth from there to stop us pulling it. And you can see there's more coal nodes along that edge there. So let's head over here. How close can we get without pulling those, those guys over there? How they can't see us, I don't know. Alright, get that one. Get this one. I think this is the new thing at Age of War. You have to be a bit closer for them to pull. Previously, we would have definitely pulled them by getting that node there. All right, carry the coal. So we've almost got a thousand coal. Get these last two. Right, so we've got to head round this corner there. Couple more coal nodes. Then if we go around here, we want to get up onto there. And then we, I think if we go around here, there's an actual place you can walk up, or, or you can just climb up. And a bunch more iron nodes. Now, these two here, there's two nodes close together, so if I hit them right in the middle, we're actually harvesting both nodes at the time. So we've got two nodes, there's a third node. So same here, we've got multiple nodes together. There we go, we've got all three there. These two. There we go, saves a bit of time. More iron. Th throw the stone away. Uh, we've got a bunch of coal. Okay, right, so now we're going to head over, over actually to that camp over there. That's Thugra Stand over there. There's a named fighter on that one there. So we're going to go to the right of that spire there. May as well take the horse. If I can get on the horse, can't mount here. Let's get down the hill a bit. Not much of a slope. What level are we? We're level 29. Why can I not mount there? Cannot reach mount. What? Too close to each other. Okay, let's just run. Never mind. Mount. So there's some more coal nodes around the base of this spire here. One there. Should be one here. Couple there. Oh, did we pull a hyena? We pulled a hyena. 
smash the one. There we go. No, I'm stuck on... Here we go. Yeah, some more coal over there. Loads of coal. More iron over there. More coal. We want to pop up here, just at the entrance of this Thugra stand. So, we've got a fighter here, who's just got to run straight past us and go for... There you go. Not very difficult. Fighter 1. Uh, we'll probably pull a couple from that camp there, but here we go. Bunch more iron. We did pull some deep. Right. You can actually go in that camp and you can just follow the, the edge of the cliff around the edge there and there are more there are more nodes. Oh, somebody else is coming out. No. But for speed, we're not going to bother this time. We're going to go over here and get these nodes over here. If you were out yourself, I would highly recommend getting as much iron as you can in one run. Here we go, we've gained the level. We're now level 30, which is the level you need to make iron tools. You can gather all this stuff, and you can actually still make the steel, it's just you won't be able to use the steel to craft anything. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab this coal node. There we go, I'm going to put that on just here, I'm going to throw the stone away, I'm going to keep the coal. Right, we're almost out of car- oh no, we've got the horse to carry it as well. Right, so, can we get this one? Right, if we head in between the spire here, there is a... Right, right just around there, there was a sorcerer as well, but he disappeared. Okay. Right, we're wanting to head... And feel free to finish off this camp, it's pretty easy. Raiders Ridge. There's the sorcerer coming, we'll take him out as well. Or her out. And what are you? You are a tanner one. Okay. Hey. Oh, we'll take the iron bars. Hey. We'll take the golem head for future. Nothing exciting in there. Okay, so what we're aiming for is this kind of sinkhole kind of thing just over here. That's well, not really a sinkhole, because there, there is a sinkhole in the game and this isn't. Oh. Kudos are, of course, aggressive. There we go. Right, so there's the there's summoning place again. We're going to head back to this bit in the middle. And in there is a whole bunch of, uh, I think they're ostrich, they're called. You can just see them over there. Great for feathers, great for eggs. But you can see over there, a bit more iron. We're probably going to pull this two on this nest here. Maybe not, maybe not. We're also almost out of durability in our pick again. So again, previous versions of the game we would definitely have pulled them, but... The pool radius seems to be a lot smaller in Age of Sorcery. Right, let's fix our pick again. Repair. So we've got a little bit of iron bars left. And that's it. Fully repaired. So if we work our way around here, another camp up here. 
Oh, we did pull the ostrich this time. Get this guy without him backing into the whole camp. Nope. Let's see if they'll just lose it. So we're going to go around this anti clockwise. Are you coming? You are coming with your daggers. Got you down. This one went round the horse and the shield back to get to me. Bad mistake, friend. Right, I need to have a drink. So use my water skin. Get my water back up. Eat as well. Throw away the stone. Give you... I suppose I should actually keep the stone and get the, the horse to it. But here we go. Some more. Keep going, and there's some more. Uh, and I think that's it. Yep. So we're going to go up here, where we will encounter a couple of hyenas. Who's going for the shale bag? Okay. Right, there's two more hyenas. Will it let me get on the horse now? It will. Right, so we're just going to ride past them. That gap there is straight back down to the valley. That's where we came up and we went along that ridge there. Uh, looks like those rock noses have respawned, but the iron nodes haven't. So I'm going to head down here, back to base, and I'm going to start getting uh, all this iron. So in fact, wait, wait, wait a minute, let me just have a quick, quick look and see how much we've got. So put that in there. So 3,860 iron stone. We've got 1,080, 1,856 coal. And we could have got a lot more stone if I didn't keep throwing it away. But stone is easy. That's not a problem. So there we go. That's a, that's a pretty decent iron run. And we now have to get that into the furnace and get it smelted. So I'll see you when I'm back there. Okay, welcome back. So we've got all our, uh, we've got our stone and our coal and our iron in here smelting up. It's going to take some time to, to smelt up all these bars, but we did it anyway. Right, so we're going to stick that in there. Right, we've got a bit more stone in here. Let's just chuck it in there just to get some more brick on the go. Okay, so we've got what we need, our raw materials. We've got the level, so we're ready to start the journey towards steel. And there is, of course, a steel smith journey step that will help us along the way. So let's do that. And the first thing it says is access or place a fireball cauldron. Fireball cauldron. Right, so if we go into our crafting menus... Uh, have we... Oh, we've got, a, we've got attributes to spend. We'll put that into expertise. There's the five point in there. Tools lose durability half as quickly, and hunger and thirst depletes 33% slower. So that's a really handy one to have. Uh, okay, so we need to look at survival, and there is the fireball cauldron. So that'll teach us the fireball cauldron itself. It'll also teach us the basic alchemist bench, a casting table, and various orbs and potions. And this is what we're interested in, steel fire, because steel fire plus uh, iron makes steel. So we need to be able to craft that. So let's learn that, which unlocks the alchemist journey as well. So we could go and complete that, but at level 30 that we are at, we can get the improved fireball cauldron, which is the same thing. It makes the same thing. It'll also teach us some more potions and stuff but it makes it using less materials than what the basic one. The improved ones are always slightly better than the other one. Right, but to do that, we have to unlock steel tools. So there's steel tools. We need that anyway, so that's unlocked. So we can now learn, we can, so we've got the, now got the master blacksmith that gives us improved furnace and improved blacksmith bench. Master carpenter, improved carpenter bench. Master tanner, improved tanner. So all these improved benches that we've got now. 
So we can go straight to the potion maker and learn the improved fireball cauldron and miss out the basic one altogether. Uh, it takes a little bit more stuff to, to make, but it'll allow us to craft quicker and but using less materials. So that's under alchemy. There is the basic cauldron. It needs 50 iron bars and 20 twine, so that's easy to make. There's the improved one. It needs 100 iron bars and 50 brick. We've got all that stuff. So 50 brick. There we go. And 100 iron bars. Right, so where are we going to stick it? We'll stick it right here next to the furnaces, I guess. So F, alchemy, improved fireball cauldron. Uh, there. Okay, so we've done that. So it says craft tar in a tannery. Well, we've been doing that since, what was it, episode two? So if we just grab some tar, let's take a whole stack of tar. Because tar is one of the materials that you need to make can see here, steel fire needs tar and brimstone. Now, I think on the basic one, it needs two or three tar as well as brimstone. But now that we've got the improved one, it just needs one of each. It's a one-to-one. -one. But we need brimstone. And it says gather brimstone is the next thing. Right, so what is brimstone? So brimstone is a rock that is found around the map. There are a few locations that it's found especially down in the New River. So up here, this is the, the more harder place to get to. That's the Shattered Springs. I'm not going up there yet. Uh, but if you were up in the northern part of the map, that's a great place to get brimstone. But if we're down here, this cave here, just just up, that's the hill we went up to fight the rock noses up here. But just on the way up the hill, if we hang our right, we've got this cave here called Sinner's Refuge. That's full of brimstone. And if you go along here, I think it's just about here. There's another cave there they called, I think, Hanneman's Grotto. And that's, it's got crocs in it. The, uh, Sinner's Refuge has got humans in it, but this has got crocs in it. Uh, but it's also got lots of brimstone. There are a few places around the map that there are brimstone outside on the ground, like like the ironstone and the, the coal nodes, but mainly it's in these caves. And the closest one to us is Sinner's Refuge. So we're going to grab... What have we got? We've got everything we need. We're going to grab Enika with her. I've given her our mace back. Get her to follow me. She's got food. We're going to take the horse. And we're going to head up this hill. So again, that's that's the hill we went for our ironstone. We're just going to head straight up there. This cave is, a, is an excellent cave. It's full of really good thralls. And right at the back of the cave, which we're, we're not going to go to today, but right at the back, there's guaranteed either a dedicated priest thrall or a tier four named crafting thrall. So we tend to farm this cave a lot. And the, uh, the other thralls that are, or the other humans that are in the, the cave can all have a chance of being named as well. So you end up with a, a whole pile of them. Right, so not today, we're just wanting to go in for brimstone. So there is the cave there, and as we approach it, a rock should fall from the sky. Or did it already fall? Right, so there's an archer, there's a pokey stick girl, and another fighter. Oh, right past me. Let's get you down first. Go up and then get the archer down. Get off my horse. Right, horse, you can stay out here. Invalid placement. Here we go. You can't set in locations like this. You just can't place followers or 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 your friends, and you have to get without a radius outside a radius. Right, so we're going to head in here. Going to get a bit dark. Sinner's refuge. Get my torch out. And you can see, it's maybe a bit hard to see, but this yellower stone, you can see how yellow it is without the torch? Because the torch makes everything yellow. That is brimstone. So if we get the pick, there we go, 18 brimstone. Gather brimstone. But let's get a whole bunch of it while we're here. There's another bit there. You can see we're starting to open the cave. There's somebody coming up the hill. An archer it is, so let's try and pull the archer around the corner a bit. 
You coming? Who approaches? Me. Come on. Right. Who? So just an archer. One. You have two archers up on top there. And then you've got two crafters around the campfire. And then there'll be a patrol coming down from the back of the cave there. So let's just run down here, see what we've got. Smelter one. I don't want to hurt you. And a shield right. So we should really tame that. But that's not what we're here for today. Uh, so we're just I'm sorry, it's a named I know I know you're all going to com complain in the comments, but we're not here for that today. We're just taking these guys out. Damn, shield right as well. Oh well. Oh, sure we'll get another one. Alright, couple more archers. All of these can be named. Right, so if we come down here now. You'll see a whole bunch of brimstone over here. I can, I can feel you all typing in the comments right now. Can't believe you did that. Of course, you're here, you've got all the all the time, you can do what you want. So if you come across a name, just, just stop your your uh, brimstone harvest and go and grab that name. Uh, just don't see any more there. Any more over this side? Nope. But under here on on the right there's a whole bunch. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Here on the left. Right, so we've got one thousand and thirty four brimstone. That's that's more than enough for what we need for the moment. So that's the back of the cave. Uh, there's a couple more guys to fight, and then just round the back of that column there, you'll find the named one. But we'll come back there another day when we, we talk about getting named fighters, or named thralls, sorry, from, from there. Right, head back, and uh, get, oh, there's another bit. I've got to head back and uh, start crafting this up. Okay, we're back home. I had to wait a little bit for daylight to come up, but we're back now. So the next part in the journey step, as you can see in the top right, is craft steel fire. So steel fire is crafted in a fireball cauldron, and it is a key ingredient in recipes such as steel bars and dragon powder. So craft steel fire in the crafting panel of a fireball cauldron. So we're going here. Steel fire requires tar and brimstone. So we're going to throw all our brimstone in. We've got our tar. So that is enough to make 500 because we've got 500 of that, we'll get more tar and make some more. And there we go, it's going to slowly creep up. There we go, we've crafted steel fire. Now what's it want? Craft a steel bar. So in order to do that, we're going to need at least a steel fire. We're going to go into here, where we're making a whole bunch of... Well, we'll have to wait for that to finish. So what I'll do is I'll grab half of that, and we'll use this other furnace. Does actually tell you? Yeah. Place iron bars of steel fire in a fuel in the furnace inventory and activate it by pressing the play button. So we'll have to put some iron bars in here. We've only got two steel fire at the moment, but we hit play. We can craft two, but it needs five iron bars. We watch that number. There it goes. It went down by five. Five iron bars and one steel fire makes one steel bar. So it uses quite a lot of iron, which is why I went on the big iron run. Okay, take that into our inventory. Done. Now we need to craft a steel tool. So the problem with that is that steel... There we go. Steel pick. Requires 30 steel bars and 15 leather and 5 branches. We've got the branches, we've got the leather, but we have to get 30 steel bars. So we're going to have to wait for this to craft a bunch of steel fire. 
and then once we've got that steel fire, we'll have to wait for this to craft a bunch of steel bars. So I will go and go through this this <laughs> painful process. Uh, obviously, if you can play it, you can go out and go farming while this is cooking away, and uh, you, you don't have to hang about, but I will bring you back when we've got a bunch of steel bars. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our first batch of steel uh, cooked up. Uh, still got still got plenty more steel fire being crafted. So we can take we'll take that and we'll chuck it in here. No, we want we'll take half of that and we'll put it in here and get more steel crafting because we'll need a bunch. Right, so we'll throw it in here because we have to craft a steel tool. So, the first tool we'll always craft is our steel pick. And, like I said, that was 30 steel bars, 5 branches, and 15 leather. Craft. And off it goes. Done. So, if we take that, swap it out. So, our old one had, I think it was 250 durability when it was fully repaired. Uh, and the steel one has got 400, but also it's a better quality tool, so it'll actually be able to harvest more out of a single node than what the iron pick does. Right, next thing we have to do is craft a steel weapon. So what have we got available to us? So weapons... Uh, let me see, where does steel? That's iron, that's iron, that's iron. So a steel short sword is actually the first one we've got available to us. Uh, the steel mace requires level 38. Oofed. The falcata's 38. The battle axe is 38. But that's okay, because if we do steel short sword, we'll learn that. And we craft that. There we go. And there we go. So we've now just completed the Steelsmith journey. But if we look at the Steel Short Sword, it does 33 damage and 16% armor pen, compared to the Iron one that was 17 and 16% armor pen. So it's almost double the damage. So it's a, still a pretty good weapon. But I think this is possibly the best journey step reward that there is. And... That is Perfected Steel Light Weapons. So if I claim that reward, part of it, we've got 50 steel fire, so we can throw that in here straight away. But we've now learned Perfected Light Steel Weapons. So if we look in here, we've got the Perfected Steel Battle Axe. So we now, we don't have to wait till level 38 to get these anymore. We can just make them right now. So that is 38 damage. The Great Sword is 35 damage. The... Oh. The Steel Long Sword and the Steel Great Sword do the same damage. That can't be right. That's got to be a bug. Surely the Great Sword does more damage than a, the one-handed. But Perfected Steel Mace. There we go. 32 damage. Perfected steel poniards, the daggers, 27 damage compared to our 11 that we do at the moment. Steel spear, 35, and the warhammer, 40. So if that does 40, I would have expected that to do 40 as well. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but never mind. So we can make a whole bunch of these. So we could make the perfected mace, a... and we just need... We don't have to wait till level 38. We can do it now, and it's... That does 32 damage, and if I look at the steel mace, it does 30. So the perfected one does more damage, and we don't have to wait to the level 38 to, to make it. So, excellent addition. Let's make ourselves one of, or make Enika one of them even. Uh, we'll make ourselves some daggers, but we'll just have to go and uh, we'll have to get some more uh, steel on the go. But 
Of course, you've also got the next level of shield. Where are shields? There. So a steel shield is 32. So we've got one more level and then we'll be able to make that, which will have a bit more damage and it'll also they have more durability than the, the iron one that we're using at the moment. The iron one's got 16 damage, that's got 24. And it'll have more durability. So we're moving up in the world. We're starting to get the steel tools and we're starting to get steel weapons. So that that's how we make steel stuff. You have to make a, the fireball cauldron here, get some tar from your tannery and get some brimstone from these caves, make some steel fire in there, stick it in your furnaces, with some iron bars, five iron bars to one steel fire, it makes one steel bar, and then you've got your steel, you can use it in your blacksmith's bench to start making weapons. Okay, that's the riddle of steel. So, there we go, that'll do for today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Very much appreciated. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.